I mean, I think it was pretty fair, man. Honestly, guys, that's why I don't compete that much. Yo, what is up, guys? So, as you guys probably know from the last video, I hope you watch all my videos. I hope this isn't the only video you watch. That'd be pretty messed up, guys. But a few days ago, I found out about this bodybuilding competition right here on this stage at Muscle Beach. And as most of you guys know, I've competed before, but man, it is so much work to seriously, like, hardcore prep for a competition. And guys, for me, it's just not worth it at all. But I think that this would be fun to do, man. You know, I'm sure you guys would enjoy it. I've kind of had this urge to get back on stage. So I just decided that, man, I'm, I'm just going to do it, man. I'm just going to compete. I've actually been cutting down for the Olympia, so I am relatively lean. Oh, by the way, yo, make sure you catch me at the One Up Nutrition booth the 15th and the 16th of September at the Olympia. I want, I want it to be epic, man. I want everyone to be there. So I'm definitely not stage ready, but I'm, I'm presentable on stage, you know, I'm not, I'm not like crazy fat, okay, so yeah man, I thought it would be fun. So I'm going to show you guys how I prep for the competition, and then I'm going to show you it man, there's going to be girls, there's going to be aesthetics, there's going to be epic workouts at Muscle Beach, it's going to be a good vlog, so keep watching, and let's get it boys. Actually guys, before we start the vlog, I just want to give you a couple important and special announcements. Alright, first of all, today we are releasing the Adonix podcast, alright? With yours truly, your host, Connor Shirtoff Murphy, and Brandon Carter is actually the co-host. You know, these vlogs are so entertaining, we hardly ever get the time to give you guys some hardcore, you know, educational knowledge. Um, and that's kind of what the podcast is for. We break down certain topics, give you guys so much good value. Actually, guys, what, what am I saying? Like, like the, the podcast is entertaining too, but there's actually, there's so much good information packed into it. So, yo... If you guys want to listen to it, there are a lot of episodes out right now. Go click the link below. I want there to be some sort of contest to celebrate this new podcast, all right? So I was thinking, let's do a review contest. So basically, subscribe to the podcast, all right? Leave a review, and then, hmm, what should the winners get? There probably will be like a few winners with the best reviews. Email me the reviews at connor at adonix.net. Hmm, what should they win, man? Like, what would these guys want more than anything in the world? What would fans love? What is just an amazing, incredible prize that they could just, there's no way that they wouldn't go and enter the contest. Oh, I think I got it, man. How about a Skype conversation with me? Hey, I know you guys would love that. But seriously, yo, we'll talk, we'll talk girls, we'll talk fitness, any questions you want. It'll just be like a cool 10 minute Skype conversation if you guys win. So. Go listen to the podcast, leave a review, subscribe, email me the review at connoradadonics.net. You don't want to miss out, man. Also, if you follow my Instagram, you would know this, but I'm not sure if you guys know who to catch a cheater is, but it's this, it's this crazy channel. Uh, you guys just got to check it out if you haven't. I'm not about to explain what it does, but I did a collaboration with them. I ended up making this girl's boyfriend really pissed off. If you guys want to see that video, the link is in the description as well. Everything is in the description, man. You guys just need to go to the description and click all the links. Every click counts. Open up 20 tabs on your computer and just leave them there and just go back to them and just check out everything, man. Okay, anyway, I think that is all the special important announcements we have. So, let's go get some cereal or something. Yeah, guys, I'm about to go get Connor. Jesus Christ, bro, knock, knock. Just kidding, bros. This is a very necessary part of the competition, is shaving everything. Bro, I gotta be careful, man. With these veins right here, bro, this is dangerous. I'm living life on the edge right here, bro. Look at this. <laughs> With these beautiful veins, oh my goodness. I know, bro. Just wait. I gotta shave the legs, too. You gotta stay around just to make sure I don't miss any spots, man. Oh, wait, dude. I wasn't in the job application. So before the like the super tan, basically, before I change races, we're basically having a, a this. This is like my the normal stuff I use to tan. So basically, I want to use this beforehand. So then when I put the crazy stuff on, like if I like miss a spot, like it kind of blends in. Like it's not gonna look crazy different. Just to, you know the way I do it, you know, to the advice. But this is just the stuff that I use normally. I think we got everywhere. Actually, pro tip right here, man. Spray the little creases of your abs so they'll be darker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't do that, you'll fuck your shit up. Bros, it's freaking carb heavy, man. So many choices. I, I, 
there's no way I can pick. All right, guys. So basically, we're gonna get some cereal, and I'll explain why in a minute. But. We're looking for some low fat, low protein, just all carb cereal that tastes good, that I will love. Well, I'll love all of them, but man, I wanna go back to my childhood, man. I'm gonna pick one that I ate in my childhood. It'll bring back beautiful memories. Too much fat and protein. Too much fat, protein's good, protein's low. Fat and protein are decent. Only one gram of fat, two grams of protein. Cocoa Krispies, dude, this is actually some good macros, man. I gotta test this out. I used to eat this all the time, man. Dude, the feeling in your mouth of it, like, like snapping and crackling, bro. Snap, crackle, and pop. Look at that. Snap, crackle, and pop. Because it feels like snapping and crackling and popping in your mouth, man. You don't like it popping in your mouth, bro? My imaginary girlfriend yeah, your does. imaginary girlfriend, bro. All right, guys, for how many carbs I have to eat, I have to get two boxes of something, and I decided, like, I could not decide between Lucky Charms and Cocoa Krispies. I ate both during my childhood. Chocolate, man, but then Lucky Charms are fun because they have, like, marshmallows, and it's fun. It's, like, enjoyable to we're getting both. Is she Myron now? Yep. She was Myron. Cereal. It looks good, bro. I'm Myron. I'm Myron hardcore. Look at this fun stuff you get to do on the back. I can't wait. It's gonna be emotional, man, eating the cereal. Like, I'm probably gonna cry. It's gonna remind me of my childhood. All right, man. Let's go. We're good. All right, guys. So, I'm losing my abs. I'm losing my hair, you know, according to all the comments. But, you know what? I'm not losing my hair fast enough. Everything's gotta look aesthetic, man. You gotta have the aesthetic muscles, you gotta have the aesthetic hair, you know? You gotta have aesthetic everything. So we're going to Super Cuts. Take care of that. What are you doing today? Probably take a little bit off the top, but leave it somewhat long. All right, guys, we're 12 hours out, and for those of you who don't know, it's pretty common knowledge that, like, when you cut down, right, you start getting flat because the glycogen in your muscles starts getting less and less. You get glycogen depleted. So before shows, you know, bodybuilders like to carb up, right? Eat a bunch of carbs, get that glycogen back in the muscle and it makes them look fuller and that makes their muscles look bigger. The thing is they do a lot of other stuff too, man, like water and sodium manipulation and all of those things go hand in hand and it can get really super freaking complicated. There's not even like a right way to do it. Everyone is different and you have to test it out and it's very stressful and complicated. So I, I'm not gonna do any water or sodium manipulation, but basically I've just been making sure to drink a ton of water because actually the more water you drink, the more your body's like, oh, I have enough water. So actually the more it expels. If you go without water for too long, your body starts holding on to every single bit of water it gets. So basically right now my body is like in the process of like expelling a bunch of water and it probably will be for like the next day or so. So starting right now until the show, I won't drink any more water. Hopefully that'll dry me up a little bit. And then I have all these carbs right here, which you'll see in a minute. These carbs are basically supposed to help fill my glycogen stores, and because they're dry, dry carbs, right? It's not like oatmeal that has a bunch of water packed in. We're not eating this with milk or anything like that. The idea is these dry carbs will fill your muscles with glycogen and also suck in the water too. Is that true? I, I don't know, guys. I'm not a freaking expert. In fact, like, even if I was a scientist, there aren't answers, man. Everyone's different. Everyone reacts differently. But I'm gonna try this out. It might just be an excuse to eat a bunch of cereal. I don't know. But anyway, so here's how it's going down. I've been at 2,600 calories, right? And I'm gonna stay at 2,600 calories. I'm not gonna get in a surplus. I'm not gonna gain an ounce more of fat, you know, because I'm also continuing my cut after this contest. I just decided to do this contest just randomly. The real reason I'm cutting is for the Olympia, right? I'm gonna be the most shredded there. So anyway, I am going to stay at 2,600 calories, but I am going to up my carbs like crazy and lower my fat and protein. All right, so basically I worked it out. I'm only gonna be eating like 20 grams of fat and 100 grams of protein today. And that sounds like that's not good and you shouldn't do that. But if it's for one day before show, one, one day isn't gonna make a difference. And it's worth, you know, getting the fullness uh, for tomorrow. So I worked it out on my fitness pal. Um, I did have a little bit of protein, right? I had like, so basically I had, you can look at my fitness pal. I had, you know, one up nutrition, whey protein, a little bit of cinnamon, and then I had like a can of chicken, but that's it. All the rest of the, everything is coming from this cereal. So I worked it out and to stay around 2,600 calories, in fact, I, I went over a little bit, but it's one whole box of Lucky Charms, all right, 324 grams and about a half a box of Cocoa Krispies, 248 grams. So I get to eat a whole box of this and then a half a box of this. 
So we're gonna weigh it out. In fact, look, look how convenient this is, man. We don't even have to weigh this out. It's just a freaking box. We just pour the box in the bowl. And then I get about half a box of this. I'm super excited, man. Like I'm going to be in heaven for the next probably 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna soak in the glycogen, the carbs, the water. Everything's going to the muscle. The childhood memories are going straight into the muscles, bro. Here we go. All right, we've got to weigh this out. How many grams did I say, bro? 248 grams. There it is, bros. Now this, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful meal. This is the best meal I've seen in so long. Bro, it's so good. I don't think I've had food like this since I was like 10. Three more cereal grains left, bro. Dude, the scary thing is, is like I could literally probably eat another two boxes. Like I'm, these are, this is the best stuff ever. I don't think I could ever stop eating it if I had unlimited cereal. That was like 2,200 calories worth of cereal. It did not fill me up, man. But it did fill me out. Mm -hmm. It's good, bro. I can, I can already tell, man. It's gonna, I'm gonna be so full tomorrow, bro. I'm already like, ugh, I'm already feeling so dry. Like my mouth wants, I, like I want water so bad, but gotta be dry for the morning. Ugh. All right, man, time to put on the tan, dude. All right, bros, you ready? Yeah. Who me. gets to tan me? I get to tan you. I'm lucky. Oh. All right, this is actually some like professional lessons, man. Most people just take this shit, start spraying everywhere, no, no, no. I learned how to do this a long time ago for my first competition. Also, we gotta be careful, this thing stains everything, including your skin. I don't know what it is, man, but always, there's always these fans that show up everywhere I go, but anyway, we have the fans to help dry me off. Cause basically it's kind of hot in here and if I sweat, that stuff's gonna come off and it's gonna be all streaky and weird. Like it basically has to dry for like 30 minutes and then it's good. Then I'll take a shower and rinse it off and it'll like fade naturally and be nice and cool. Cause I'm not trying to get crazy tan because this is like outdoors. It's not like stage lighting where you need to get crazy tan just to see the definition. It's just natural lighting. I'd actually probably be okay how I am, but I already got it, man. Just freaking do it. All right. What do I start with, man? You have to start with the pecs. Chest. Decent? I think so. Got some money, but we gotta pay off the judges here. I'm not shredded enough to win, bro, so this money's for the judges. Alright, bros, just got my height taken. A lot of people might think I've been lying about my height, and they're correct, man. I've been saying I was 6'2, but that's what I was measured at, bro. I think I grew an inch, man. Hello! Today, we're doing the Muscle Beach Championship. Casey Neistat was a bodybuilder. That's exactly how we would look. Alright, bro. Alright, bros, we're about to steal a wristband from Phil real quick. See how sneaky we can be. I mean, I can cover you. No one will watch. Let me pretend you're putting on sunscreen. Just putting on sunscreen, bro. Not doing anything illegal. <laughs> I think you could have done it, bro. Nobody was watching. Wait, 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 wait. What did you see on camera? That you were trying to take the wristband? You saw me trying to take it? Yeah. You think I failed? Yeah. Harder. Oh, what? I didn't even really? uploaded one, right? I just, I just uploaded one. Yeah, I just got one. I thought. Yeah, dude. Hot girl Frank's camera got me. Hell yeah, dude. Notification squad. I'm part of that too. I notify it to my own videos because that's how much I like them. Where were you at, Phil? Here I got the shits. Diarrhea. Well, you know what, Phil? Since you've uh, been working out consistently, since you've been such an amazing cameraman, look what I got you. Oh my god. I feel like he wasn't very grateful. That sounded sarcastic. Oh, do you, you know what I had to do to get you that? What do you have to do? I had to steal it. I had to risk my I'm going to jail for life, man, stealing that for you. I we literally stole it. Do one favor for me. Alright, what what is it, bro? I just want to talk to my girlfriend to go brother. I can do that, yeah. Let's go for it, man. Anything anything for my fans, man, since I'm such a nice guy, you know what I mean? I got somebody that wants to talk to you real quick. How's it going, bro? I'm good, bro. Oh my god, I'm such a huge fan, bro. I appreciate it, man.
So where do you want me to sign it? Anywhere. Anywhere. I'm signing something, man. This is really cool. <laughs> Dude, I think it's working. That is a beautiful signature. I love it. We're doing so much. I know, man. Where are they? Oh. No, they're there. They're there. The signature is for my boyfriend. He's uh, the one that introduced me to Connor. Uh, oh, so her and her boyfriend, <laughs> they, they lay in bed together and watch Connor Murphy videos, right? Bye. Alright guys, I'm guessing we're like 45 minutes or so out from the show, so we're about to get a quick pump going. They actually, we're going to get a big pump going. We're going to get a full workout in. Let's get it. Chest day, obviously. Let's get it. Alright bros, getting some free workout in. Get that pump going. Get that vascularity. Bro, this is such a good idea. We got this guy over here. He's about to take some too, man. Oh, that was very concentrated. Bro, that's your feature over there, Connor. It's like, yeah, man, I'm definitely getting an owl tattoo. I mean, that works. If Are you, you strong enough for that? If you insist, you that? okay. Guys, that's how you pump up for a bodybuilding competition. Follow me on a at Andy Lubin on Instagram. Follow me at Antonia Chris on Instagram. Follow me at Connor Murphy Official on Instagram. <laughs> All right. Got it, Alejandro? Do I look muscular enough? <laughs> yes, you look very good. Check this out, I got a nice participation medal. Um, so honestly guys, I'm like not a big fan of participation awards. It kind of teaches people that like even if you fail, you get a prize, which doesn't really work that way in like real life. Especially like little kids, man, they like participate in sports and everyone gets a trophy. They're teaching like everyone's a winner. It's not how it works in life, man. Like you gotta work hard and like only the top, right? You gotta work harder than everyone else. You gotta be special to like succeed. And that's just how it works. So yeah, man, I'm not a big fan of just like giving away prizes just to like make people feel better, you know? It's kind of like, like I just don't get these aesthetics just from showing up, you know? You have to, you know, you have to have the knowledge, you have to have the hard work and the dedication. People need to accept that if you don't work hard or smart and you just go through the motions, you know, you're not going to get where you want to be. This, Alejandro gets this. This is his medal for being a great cameraman, all right? So it's no longer a participation medal, it's Alejandro's medal for being a great cameraman, all right?
physique ultra tall. And first place trophy goes to Connor Murphy. This is our physique ultra tall. Time for that physique overall. Take that physique overall trophy for the Muscle Beach 2017 Muscle Beach Championship. Better number 33. <laughs> Chang Hong Chung, all the way from Germany. Right, guys so that's it i haven't seen the footage yet but i think i look pretty decent um there's only one other guy in my class and i won i didn't have much competition well, i wasn't really in this to like win or anything man i was just trying to have a good time it was fun i got a cool trophy i like this is a beautiful decoration for my room i can't wait to uh, put it in my room even though every single competitor mo well almost every person got a trophy but this one says first place man it's his first place and look at that ultra tall Ultra tall. That's a cool title. Like, I'm ultra tall. How do you feel about that, Alejandro? I'm ultra short, bro. How do you feel about me being ultra tall, bro, huh? Um, it's kind of the Okay, serving. okay, okay. <laughs> um, as far as the overall goes, I mean, I think it's pretty fair, man. Like, those guys, I, I got smoked. I saw those guys, like, they were jacked. Honestly, guys, that's why I don't compete that much, because if I competed, I would, like, want to go all out. Like, I would want to win, and I'm just not willing to get that big. Physique has gotten so big now, I'm just not willing to do it, man, so. That's why I don't compete that much. I'm not expecting to win every physique competition, man, because I'm honestly, I'm, I'm not that big, man. I might be pretty aesthetic, you know what I mean? And it might be a nice body for the ladies, but as far as competing in physique, physique has gotten way too big. I couldn't be able to attain that naturally, like not even close. Man. A couple years ago, the first year it came out, man, Jeff Side was winning, like those nice aesthetic guys were winning, but over the, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And now it's just like, they're just bodybuilders in physique, man. So that's why I don't compete that much, but it was fun, man. It made a good vlog. I've met a lot of you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I, I'm just so happy about this beautiful trophy. So, we just got fans of. Thank you, bro. We just got fans all over the place. Alejandro had some fans run into him today, too, man. Alejandro's getting freaking popular, man. Go follow his shit. Go follow Phil's shit too, I guess, if you want to see some cringy skits. Uh, I mean, I might be in those. I might be in those too. So actually, go follow him. But yeah, shout out to everyone who competed, man. Like most people worked like super hard for this competition. I just kind of showed up. Like I've I've tried hard for a competition before. Like died it down to a point. Like like prepped hardcore, and it sucks, bro. Like, I'm probably not doing it again. So shout out to all these guys who work so hard. But yo, make sure to catch me at the Olympia. I'm gonna continue my cut, man. So I'm gonna be even a little more shredded. It's in like a week, man. It's, I think it's the 15th and 16th. I'll be there in Las Vegas. Yo, please come by. Come by the one at Nutrition Booth. I want it to be lit, man. You wanna be in the vlog. You just wanna say hi. You want a picture, man. You uh, wanna do a pose off with me. You wanna film it for your YouTube channel. Man, you could do almost anything, man. Almost. Yeah, guys, I love you guys. Peace out, and I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, please. Thank you.